skating, a physically challenging sport that has grown in popularity since it was created back in the 40s. As the sport grows, the demand for more locations to skate has risen, but not every request can be tailored for. We are in the town of Walton. This community is crying out for somewhere for their youth to skate. This is Jack Gregg. He's 17 years old and he's an amateur skater from Walkden. I started skating around four or five years ago when I met some friends out and about and just seemed interesting so I decided to start doing it and just stuck with it ever since really. We are here at Black Sheep Central Skate Park with Oliver Tyman who is a 25 year old pro skater who has had many big sponsorships throughout his career. So I started skateboarding when I was about 10 years old, um, maybe 11 years old actually properly when I started. I'm 25 now, so I've done it ever since. Uh, I'm probably a little bit better at street skating than I am at, than I am at skating you know, in skate parks or whatever, but uh, I think that's because I started street skating for the first two years before I went to a skate park, so I went towards that way a little bit more, yeah. I've worked here, I'm the only person, along with the owner Harry, who's worked at this skate park since day one really, so I, I think it's about seven years, I've, you know, since the doors opened, people have come and gone or whatever, but for some reason I've, uh, I've, st I've stuck it out, you know, so I've been fortunate enough to, um, to work here and I, you know, I enjoy it obviously, if you can mix what you do as a hobby with, the, with your work, then, you know, you can't complain at all, can you really? To the area, I think, you know, if you look at our members, we've probably over the years accumulated maybe a couple of thousand members, and then the lads who were already into skateboarding, it's give, us, give them somewhere to sort of develop a skill set, really, you know what I mean? So it helps out kids here, you know, who want to get into skating or riding or just generally do something with the time. It provides somewhere that kids can go, not even kids, that adults can go and just, you know, not be bothered by people who, you know, are kicking them out of street spots all the time and just come here and have a, have a skate without having to worry about anything, so. But not every skater from Walton is able to travel to these skate parks. There are no facilities really for us to do anything and the ones that are, they're all stretched out like either in Manchester, Bolton or further like Southport, Stockport, Blackpool. But really in the area there are no like areas to skate so that is a main problem. I'm from an area um, which is, you know, it's, it's not the greatest area. I'm from an area up near Burnley. And it, personally, if I didn't start skateboarding, I was getting towards an age where I was sort of out and about a little bit. And luckily, I was able to travel to Bolton. I was, one, you know, I was really lucky that my parents were willing to take me to that skate park. And then I really got into doing stuff like that. But I was lucky that there was a facility not too far away that I could go and skateboard at and do what I love doing and if there wasn't that facility I wouldn't have known what to have done really because I wouldn't have had anything to do. Without an area to skate in, skaters are only left with the streets which can cause problems for pedestrians. This leaves the council stuck in the middle. We are here with Jordan Moore who is a council community development worker for Little Houghton and Walkden. The major issues with skateboarding in public places and stuff like that can include noise pollution, um, large groups of young people gathering Although they're not causing direct antisocial behaviour, they can cause um, perceived antisocial behaviour, which can become quite an issue. Um, obviously, the, the public spaces that the skateboarders and BMXers and scooters are using, as you can see, it's quite a well used area. Um, this can interfere with passers by and um, on occasion people getting knocked into as, as they are skating and past. And this, obviously, if Joe Bloggs is walking past um, with his elderly gran and she gets bumped, it's going to cause considerable harm and this is what the residents are worried about and it's what we need to try and solve the problem. Obviously we do get in the way of pedestrians and like traffic and cyclists but we try not to and we've not really got anywhere to go so kind of have to get in the way. I think that um, if young people did have a place to go to skate, I think that would um, help considerably with the issue. Um, obviously at this moment in time, um, funding's hard to come by and it probably would be a, um, a private venture that would try and help with this problem. So for council and the relevant partners are happy to work with young people to try and um, move this along as best possible and the best way forward and I do think it, it would solve the issue. 
With good communication between the skaters of Warden and the council, a future project for a skating area for the youth of this area could look promising. But for now, Jack and his friends will carry on doing what they love most.